Hey there guys, just getting ready for what I hope to be a uh, epic day out smallmouth bass fishing. Uh, Josh is on his way over here to pick me up. We're taking the boat out and we're going out in the middle of nowhere in South Dakota. There is a lake that's supposed to be just stocked up with a large smallmouth and there's some, also some large walleye in there. I think that pretty much covers up, covers the fish that we're going to be, uh, be targeting anyway. Uh, definitely be looking for that smallmouth. In fact, about five years ago, a state record was pulled out of this lake. So that's the kind of caliber of fish we're looking for. So a quick breakdown of what I expect to uh, be doing here today. Um, our water temps, I'm not 100% sure where they're at, but what I'm expecting is high 60s, maybe 70 at best. Um, which, if that is the case, I'm expecting the fish to be pushed up on the weed lines. Um, under some moderate depth structure. This lake's max depth, I believe, is 18 feet. So we're going to be fishing probably that uh, 5 to 10 foot range. Most of our weed lines are in about the 6, 7 foot range. Um, so I'm guessing those are the depths we're going to be fishing, at least to start. It all kind of depends on what that water temp is when we, uh, when we get the boat launched. We are here. Start off with a little top water. Mm. Try this little chugger out. Yeah, yeah little, probably bait fish right there, huh? That's not. Or the first little batch, anyway. Hey, Rick, where you at? Right there. Right here, how deep is this well? Yep. Yep. Well, that's not where I wanted to cast that, but. Ah. There's fish. Right. Yep. Damn. <laughs> I got excited for half a second. Yeah. I've been caught before. Big old hole in his nose. All right, well, I got the skunk out of the boat, so. I mean, oh, Pike, yeah, boat strike. I was just saying, yeah, they are. Turtle country. Oh, that was so freaking cool. I just literally watched two northern follow this right up to the boat. You see this long skinny thing just stalking it right behind it. They like this bait. So one thing I think we've been doing wrong with our spinners and chatter baits and stuff when we use them should actually be slowing down the reel every once in a while, just like make little, right, little pauses, little, well, if you got, let's say you got a fo something following it and you're just going the steady pace, you may not bite. If you slow down or speed up just a little bit, that can be the difference between that fish committing or turning around. It makes sense. All right, they should be should be pushing up in the shallows a little more, but that's all those dead weeds got them put kept out. There you go. What the shit? 
That's a decent one too. No, they're not even supposed to be in here. Well, you know, Game Fish Parks could have put them in here and not told anybody. They like doing that. Is that chatter? Yeah. <laughs> Three. This fat little guy, fat little football. I don't know what I have for crankbaits. I never catch them on crankbaits. Like, I. I don't even think I've ever caught one on a square bill. Hmm. Catch them on round traps. Well, square bills are more, you know, shallower, yeah. rip rap. That wasn't no fucking shotgun either. That was your rifle. Was it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, fish. Fish on. Feels like northern. A lot of head shake. It's coming up. Yeah. No, that's a bass. It's not big though. Um, it's bigger than I think it is. And remember, I'm using a heavy action rod. That's a good one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, right in the eyeball, poor guy. Oh, he's already. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That is what we are after. Oh, this is so a personal best. I don't even need to weigh them to know that. Mm -hmm. Plug for the win. Okay, zeroed out. Five pounds. Five, Five pounder. Five pounds. Five pounds. Probably 18 oh. inches. Put him on the beast. 19. What? Pushing 19. 19? Tips of the tail is 19. Sure. Oh, yes. <laughs> Looks me wonder if we should go back where we started, where all those deep trees were. You know, at 15 foot of water. Of course, we weren't really marking. In there? Well, toss them beside them, not in them, but run the edge of them, pull them out of them. You know, this, this thing's got some really big balls in them or something because it really makes a, it really has a loud tunk, like a click to it. And go back out where we came in at 20 foot of water and see if we can mark a bunch again. Toss the plug at them. I said it kind of makes sense why it wasn't hitting our tube or any of that too because you know we're fishing the bottom with those. And they're not sitting on the bottom, they're sitting suspended five foot off. So bait fish must be on the move. There's a could be a little school bait fish. Oh, yep, pike. Northern? Yep. Followed it right up to the boat. We got a lot of followers today. You're good. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, little bass. I might have. <laughs> They've never seen before. A little stocky guy. They're definitely still healthy. And he's looking a little smally. Well guys, not a terrible day on the lake, definitely a tough one. Only caught those handful of fish there right away, and then it was pretty much the dead sea after that. Couldn't really uh, find much of a pattern on them. Caught that one monster. God, that was, made, definitely made the trip worth it. Made my day. I wish Josh would have got one too, but hey, that's why it's called fishing, not catching, right? But, uh, but yeah, it would have been nice if we could have figured out a pattern to them or, or something that could have got us on more fish. You know, we pulled pulled that one beast out of uh, 18, 20 foot of water. And then that other smallmouth was about 12 foot of water. A little pike were coming out of, you know, up by the shallow weed lines. Uh, they were hitting in the like, 5 to 10 foot of water. Uh, that one largemouth bass, which that was... Did not expect to catch that. As far as we knew, they didn't even exist in that lake. It was smallmouth only, so that was really cool. So, Josh, I'll give you that one. You, you caught the fish that you shouldn't have caught. <laughs> it's what, two, three pound largemouth there. Um, but that was, again, out of shallows. That was super shallow, sitting up on some rocks. Um, yeah, just, just all around a tough day. Hard to, hard to really figure them out. So, the baits that seemed to work today were uh, were plugs. I had a uh, Vexen, oh, I don't remember the model of it, but it was a 10 foot diver. Uh, I caught both the small mouth on that same lure. The, I think the large mouth, if I remember right, was on the chatter bait. Uh, the northern were hitting the chatter baits. Um, I had used that little, uh, almost like A-rig kind of thing, that hybrid spinner, that live, live target spinner. Kind of looks like an A-rig. I did catch a couple pike on there. Had a lot of followers on that. They were fish were definitely interested in that. Following it a lot. I, I really, uh, really found that lure to be interesting, and I definitely uh, will be using that again sometime.